Good evening, I'm Sherry Fall. I'm Lisa Crane. Ivy met with reporters for the first time since her swearing in on Monday. WVTM 13's John Papke was there. And John, did she talk about the controversy surrounding Robert Bentley's resignation? Well, Lisa, Governor Kay Ivey admitted that there is a black cloud hanging over the state of Alabama. She said Robert Bentley's actions are not complimentary to any of us, and she hopes to restore the state's uh, public trust in the governor's office. I, Kay Ivey. Less than three days after being sworn in as Alabama's first female Republican governor, Kay Ivey says her priorities are simple. The primary focus right now is to um, steady the ship of state and to do some things that can help improve um, Alabama's image because that's our challenge for the immediate future. Ivy also took questions about the election to permanently fill Jeff Sessions' former U.S. Senate seat. Robert Bentley set this special election for November 2018, but Auditor Jim Ziegler has asked Ivy to set it earlier. If we move the date, it will cost about $15 million that will come straight out of the general fund budget. So while I have some concerns about the whole situation, I have to also um, be very mindful of the impact that it would have. Ivy said she does not plan to expand Medicaid in Alabama or push for a lottery to fill the general fund's revenue holes. Do you plan to run for election next fall? I don't blame you for answering that a bit. If I was sitting in your shoes, I'd ask that question too. <laughs> and uh, there's certainly a possibility about that, but right now my priority has to be on um, stabilizing the ship of state. Let's hope Alabama's new captain finds calmer seas to navigate. Well, Governor Ivey is also evaluating all 20 of 23 of the cabinet positions. She did say, however, she does not think the Alabama law enforcement agency needs to go anywhere, and she did not rule out bringing back ousted Secretary Spencer Collier. Reporting live in Montgomery, John Papke, WVTM 13.